Hello Year 6 and welcome to Wednesday's Maths lesson. So today for our warm-up I have got number of the day, okay? So you've got this number here, I'm not going to say it because it's one of your challenges, and you've got to do these things. You've got to write it in words, write five more, 20 less, say whether it's an odd or even number and then multiply it by 10. Okay, so pause the video now, get out your purple book and have a go at this little challenge to get your brains warmed up. Okay, so you should have had, in words, 698. Then you should have five more, which would take you to 703. 20 less would take you to 678. It's an even number because it ends in an eight. And if it's zero, two, four, six, or eight, then it's even. And then multiply it by 10, you should have had 6,980. Okay, so that was to get your brains going before today's learning. So today's learning then is on page 17, and it's can I estimate using rounding? So the first little section at the top is a little reminder about how to round. So I'm going to go over something really, really similar. OK, so you've got to round the numbers to the nearest 10, the nearest 100 and the nearest 1000. OK, so if I'm rounding, this is exactly like you've got in your book, but I've just used different numbers. So my first number then is 5,667. I've got to round it to the nearest 10, 100 and 1000. So when I'm rounding to the nearest 10, OK, so on my 5,667, I need to be using the tens column, which is this one, and then I'm going to be using the ones column to help me as well. So I've got a six in the tens column and a seven in the ones column. So the first thing then is I need to decide which two tens it's in between. So it's 5,660. So my first one is using that six in the tens column. And then the next 10, because if I was counting up in my 10s, I'd go 60, 70. So it's 5,670. OK, so they are the two numbers that it is in between. So then we go to our rule. So we did do rounding not so long ago in our bubble closure. So remember, 1, 2, 3 and 4, we round down. 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, we round up. OK. So it's a seven in this one, so I'm going to round up to 5,670, okay? So that's your ten. The next one then is the nearest hundred. So this time I need to look at the hundreds column and the tens column. So they are the two columns that I need to be looking at. So first job, which two hundreds is it in between? So my first hundred is there. So 5,600 and the next 100, if I was counting in my 100, would be 600, 700. So 5,700. OK, so then I look at the tens column and there's a six. So remember the rule, one, two, three, four, we round down. Five, six, seven, eight or nine, we round up. So it's a six, so we're going to round up to 5,000. 700. Okay, and then the final one is the nearest thousand. So this time I need the thousands column and the hundreds column. So, first job is which two thousands is it in between? So, my first thousand is there, 5,000. And then if I was counting in, five, in thousands, 5,000, 6,000 would be the next one. OK, so then I go to this one, I go to the hundreds column. Remember my rule, one, two, three, four. So if zero, one, two, three, four, we round down. Five, six, seven, eight or nine, we round up. And it's a six, so we round up to 6,000. OK, so what I would like you to do now is pause the video and I want you to have a go at this one. So this one says 995. So I want you to have a go in your purple book, it rounding 995 to the nearest 10, 100 and 1,000. And then we will have a look at it together. 
Okay, so you should have had a go at that now. So the nearest 10 then, so I'm looking at the tens column and the ones column. So it's in between 990. Now, because I'm on 90, it's going to go to 1,000. So the next one is 1,000. That might have tripped a couple of people up. So then I go to this number here in the ones column, and it's a 5. So I, you should have rounded up to 1,000. Okay, so the nearest 100 So we need to look at the hundreds column. So 900 would be my first one. And again, a thousand would be the next one. And because it's a nine in the tens column, I'm going to round up to a thousand again. So finally, for rounding it to the nearest thousands, this one's slightly trickier because you, you are not on a thousand yet. So you would have it somewhere in between zero and a thousand. And because it is a nine in the hundreds column, you would round it to 1000. OK, so that first section is just like that one that we've gone through together. So you can have a go. At, I would pause the video now while it's fresh in your mind. And if you need to go back and have a look at how to do any of the bits, Pause it now, have a go at section one. Okay, so you should have filled in the table now at the top of page 17. And then the second section then is using rounding or using estimating to work to quickly work some questions out. So I'm going to go through a couple of examples with you. So we've got here 289 adds 301. And you need, you've got to estimate about what the answer would be. So because this is 289, I would say that it's nearly 300. And this one's 301, so that's really close to 300 as well. So I would do 300 add 300. So my estimate, remember an estimate is a little bit like a guess, but it's more of an educated guess. You've thought through what it could be. So my estimate for that would be 600. Okay, so what I want you to do now is pause the video and have a go at this one. So you've got 604, take away 199. So think about which numbers they are close to that would make it easy for you to take them away and have a go now. So you've got 604, take away 199. Okay, so what I would have done is taken this one to 600 and this one to 200. And I would have done 600 take away 200, which would be 400. OK, so have a look how you did. And you might have done something slightly different. That's the thing with estimating. You might have done it very slightly differently to me. And then this one then. So this one's a multiplication one. But if I make it so that I've got zeros, I could do it really easily. So I've got 58, which I would round to 60 multiplied by 426, I would either go, yeah, I think I'd go to just 400 when I'm estimating, and then I could do six times four, which I know is 24, and then put my three zeros back on. Okay, so same again, have a pause of the video now and see if you can use this strategy to have a go at working this one out. Okay, so what I would have done is I'd take that to 60, because it's close to 60, and I'd take this one to 400, because 398 is nearly 400. So six times four again is 24, and then I've got three zeros to put on. Okay, so that is this second section here. So all of these ones are just like that one we did together, where you are rounding it to a, the closest number to make it really nice and easy for you to have a go. Okay, and then finally, the last bit that I want to go through with you is this one. So this one, the next section, you've got to divide all of the numbers by four because it says you have got to it says on this one, write down the numbers approximately which is another word for estimating, 
one quarter of the number shown. So you've got to make it a quarter smaller. Okay, so that's just dividing by four. Okay, so when a one quarter of the number shown, you're just dividing it by four. So you need to use two things today, your knowledge of estimating, but also your knowledge of the four times table will help you today. So 482, I know that 48 is in the four times table. So I'm going to make that one 480 because then I can knock my zero off and do 48 divided by four. Okay, so that would give me 120 because 48 divided by four is 12 and then I put my zero back on. Okay, then the next one then, is 101. So I'm going to make that 100 because I know that 100, a quarter of 100, 100 divided by 4 is 25. So I'd like you to have a go at now. It's 247 divided by 4. Think about your 4 times table. What could you make 247 into to easily divide it by 4? So have, pause the video and have a go now. So I know then, you've had a go at that one. So I know that 24 is in the four times table, so I'm going to make that into 240. And then I know that 24 divided by 4 is 6. And then I can put my zero back on. Okay? So then that section, this section here, you are dividing all of those by 4 using that strategy. And then finally, You've got to round the numbers at the bottom to the nearest hundred, which we did at the beginning. So I think you'll be absolutely brilliant at this. You were fantastic at dividing. So take on the challenge of estimating.